Hey guys, so my October 30th DVD update. And the next one I'm going to talk about is Grave Encounters. Grave Encounters? Grave Encounters? Grave Encounters. That's the same type of películas fan footage que le llaman, que son como actividad paranormal, rec. Project. So Solon follows a bunch of ghost hunters filming a new reality TV show which leads them to an abandoned mental hospital in the search of the unknown. Turns out to be a lot more realistic than they had hoped. They run into grave encounters. <laughs> the effects are, are well done. The camera work is terrible. The only downfall with the film, and it, it's a big one, not a lot of scares. It's fucking scary. It's fucking horrible. You're watching it and it just twist with your mind and there's some pretty freaky shit in there with people faces being all like Aah! i can't tell if that shit is real that shit is scary that's some scary shit this thing creeped me out so bad i'm not lying here so bad i was like creeped to sh like serious the ending i need to talk about the ending because this ending was one of the worst endings I have ever seen in my life. I think I'm gonna give this film, Grave Encounters, a uh, pass. One skull out of four. I believe that's it for this week. This has been uh, Alex's Movie Madness. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, Alex underscore Movie Kid 88. Thank you for watching and happy Halloween. I hope so. I know you don't like it, but come on, I mean, you've got to be willing to make an exception. Are you in there? Is this your date or what? Oh my god, I'm not a good guy. Wanna make out the good god? Yeah. So, what are you, Michael from Thriller, or are you just dead Michael over here? Well, I'm dead Michael, baby. Woo! Where the children at? Give me some You're rolling up in here with this little piece of shit? Oh, whoa, whoa. My camera may be small, right? But Thor has a mighty big hammer dick, unlike your tiny ape. Very, very diggity. Get it down, baby. What have we got over here? Oh, my God. Jennifer. Why am I not filming? Where's Alex? I don't know. Is he here? No. Did he come with you? He did not come with me. Well, I was really looking forward to seeing him tonight. Do you want to make out? I'll take a rain check. You should keep drinking though. It'll taste better. <laughs> ah. Back at the dorms. Jacking up. Are you kidding me? There's a real pussy out there waiting for you, man. Jen wants your body, bro. Jennifer's life. Like I said, she's looking good. Not as good as this, but pretty good. I have a fucking costume right there, go. Wrong. You do have a costume. I have one left over from Crash Week. No, I'm not, fucking, yeah. I'm not fucking wearing this. Uh, you are I'm not wearing, fucking this wearing this. It's Halloween. I am not. No, absolutely fucking not. Let me talk me into this. <laughs> Seriously, oh, your ass look is at banging, this. Look dude. At Fuck off, dude. I'm not going out in public like this. Hey, Trav, right, Look man. at you. You should listen to listen to this. Fucking no class in the horror genre anymore. No class. I'm telling you, it's all just yeah, quick cuts buddy. and giant lens flares. CGI. They need to go back to using models and makeup yeah, effects. I yes, they totally do. Agree. You're so right. The old so school. Hard. Way. I am on the same page with you. Carpenter, Craven. Where the fuck are those guys in our generation? Where, Where the fuck are you? <laughs> Film school fucks is the next Craven. Who? None of them. I'll tell you where they are. Where right are here, brother. Speech! My name is Alex Wright. Future motherfucking genius, baby. Alex Wright, hey! signing out for ladies and gentlemen. I am going to make a horror show. Okay. I will reinvent the genre. Yeah, you are. You know it. It's gonna be artistic! It's going to be a 
fucking visionary, and I'm allowed to say shit like that. Hurry on, motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> That's glorious. Sleeping beauty. Rise and shine, bitch! <laughs> oh, how you feel, big guy? <laughs> oh, look at you. Who's your friend? Fuck. You might want to check your timeline. Why? Pretty racy photos of you on there from last night. What did you do? You just tell me what the hell you did. Keep looking. You'll see it. Yeah. Oh, there's a second. The dog's grabbing my tits. Well, there's the thing. Why the hell would you let me drink a whole thing of tequila? You took it from me and wouldn't give it back. Who the hell is this dude? No idea. Ah, uh, is a hard time. Really oh, drunk. <laughs> I key bag you. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Why the fuck would you put that up? Take it down. No, 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 look, look, I even tagged it. Look, I said, my balls. I don't give a shit. <laughs> fucking YouTube sensation. It's got fucking 26 likes, man. My balls are gonna go viral, baby. Shit gets better. Are you fucking kidding me? Good shot. Ah, not one fucking person tried to fucking help me? They were very, dude, it was so, you look, you're like the center of attention, man. I'm you're practically a star. My, I'm untagging myself, dude. I'm untagging myself. Fuck you. Hi, do you guys know where I can find, uh, weed? Marijuana? Yo, dude, I'm looking for weed. What are you doing? It's my doc assignment. High times in film school. Right. What are you doing? Just, uh, checking for comments on my reviews. You are such a nerd. <laughs> Whatever, man. My reviews are a good way to get my name out there. Check it out. I got a video response. So a guy from the film I just reviewed, Grave Encounters. I don't really remember the scene being in it. Well, who sent the video? Uh, Death Awaits. Message Death Awaits. Find out where he got the video. Boom, problem solved. Can we please go get some tacos? Don't be such a tease, Stacy. You know you like it. Gary! Gary! Stop! Oh! You bitch! Look, I know it's been exactly a year ago tonight that your father disappeared, but you need to move on already. Money. Money. Money.
Yeah, we're gonna go to the uh, bird's eye view shot, is that okay? Yeah, sounds good. Oh right. my god, Jennifer, you are officially on your way to being the next great scream queen, <laughs> and I'm gonna help you get uh, that. Right. Really? <laughs> yeah. How is the guy supposed to stand up after he's dead? That that doesn't make any sense. That's gonna be an awesome jump scare. Trust me, man, I know what I'm doing. The pro. <laughs> BBs. Trev, <laughs> death words replied. Yeah? Ooh. What did he say? Well, check it out. What, what, what is that? Is that a phone number or something? 49, 14, one, three. No, it's too many numbers to be a phone number. Who, wait, who is this? Who sent it? Alex has a YouTube stalker. Oh, no. It makes sense. I checked it out with the website. I double checked it with Google Maps. It makes sense, but I just don't know why he sent no, it. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Go back to that, to that last part you were saying about the longitude, latitude numbers. That was good stuff. Okay, yeah. All right. 49, 14, 122, 48. The message from death awaits. It's longitude and latitude numbers, I think. Where do you think they lead to? Vancouver, Canada, to the exact location of a mental institution called <laughs> Now, I think this is the place that they filmed Great Encounters. They called the building Collingwood within the movie, but Collingwood doesn't exist, <laughs> does. And it's all the same shit they talked about. You know, built at the turn of the century, crazy doctors, lobotomy, all that shit. It's all real, it all happened. So many people online think this is real. I'm not the only one. People thought the Blair Witch Project was real too. Yeah, and Paranormal Activity, and that stupid one in space on the moon. It's just a marketing gimmick, Alex. That's exactly what they want you to think. It's just a movie. And I mean, it's not even a very good movie at that. I mean, look at these special effects. None of the actors in this film have done anything since this film release. Not a thing. Can you explain that? The caretaker. He's been dead for fucking like eight years now. Kenny Sandoval. Suicide. 2004 self-inflicted shotgun wound. The dude went crazy. What about your own movie, Alex? You still need it. to cast role the police sergeant, too. You need to get on that shit ASAP. Hey, everybody. Uh, I actually have some questions that I need help getting answers for you know, the movie that I was reviewing last week, Grave Encounters. I'm trying to get in touch with the directors or some of the actors or anyone involved with the film, but I can't find any information on them. There's something about it that doesn't make sense, and I just kind of want to get to the bottom of it. So if you or anybody you know knows how to get in contact with them, please just comment back. It'd be greatly appreciated. I'm just trying to think about some stuff. You don't seem very happy about it. Can I get in there? What, like, was it my performance? You no, not at all. It wasn't your performance. Well, no, because, like, no, I rehearsed this a lot of different not. ways, so we can... Dude, what the fuck are you talking about, man? This footage looks amazing. It looks good, I'll give you that, but it's cliche, man. Look, this is a guy in a mask and a girl getting tied up. We've seen this before. Yeah, dude, yeah. it's fucking torture porn, man. People love that shit. Saw made, like, a hundred million dollars. Yeah, I don't really care. I don't know, I need to rethink the whole third act. Just wrap everybody, okay? I need to rewrite the ending. 
All right, everybody, that's a wrap for today. Really? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go get day drunk. You ready? Yeah, I'll be the table like I do. Jen, Jen. It was really good. That was scary. Turn that clown upside down. Can you not film me right now? All right. So I just logged on to my email, and I had a message from that YouTube user that's been messaging me for the last little while. Check out what he sent me. This is a photo of Sean Rogerson when he was younger. The woman next to him must be his mother. It came with a phone number. It's uh, local to Washington, so I'm going to give it a shot. Maybe it has something to do with his mom. Let's see what I can find out. Hello. Hi, is this the, uh, the Rogerson home? Yes. And I'm just trying to get a hold of Sean. Is he around? Well, I'm doing a thesis project on a film he was a part of called Grave Encounters. Uh, I'm trying to get an interview with him. You know, it would be really helpful if you guys, if I wasn't the only one who was navigating the way. Well, you aren't. It's the GPS is helping you out. Well, yeah, a okay, lot of people that in this. This is why Terminator say. turned bad. Because GPS why? Is they don't want to help us. Computers don't want to help us. It's just in their nature. This is it. What would appear to be? All right, so what's this broad's name again? Delia, Trevor, for the 18th time. And she said that Sean would be here for sure. Sean would be here at 3 o'clock. He'd be down for an interview. Let's make it happen. Each of these said, let's go. Jared, you what? Uh, hold back. Like, get up. Film this for like a wide. I don't even know why you brought your camera. Why did you bring the camera? It's for my fucking documentary for the 15th your time. Your documentary doesn't really apply to the scenario. Your documentary scenario. doesn't apply to the scenario. That's precisely what my documentary is about. Is this Shut year. up. Hi. Oh. Alex? Yes, uh, Alex, and this is my friend Trevor. Hi, I'm uh, Trevor. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Why did you come in before you catch cold? Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Guys, wait up. Can, can I get you boys some tea or some coffee? I've got some really nice tea in the pot. Um, I'm, I'm good, but thank you, though. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm, I'm fine as well. Thank I think we're all good. Okay. How's the, how's the friend? It looks hot. This is Rogerson. Is Sean around right now? He just stepped out. You just missed him, but he'll be back soon. Okay, but uh, Sean is alive. I mean, he's 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 uh, of he's course, okay. Right? Of course, I'm always teasing him about being a, a workaholic. Yeah. <laughs> he's acting on a new TV series right now. He loves to act. He always wanted to be an actor, even when he was a little boy. You could wait for him if you like. He's going to be so pleased to see you. He loves it when people come round to visit. Sean lives here. Oh, well, all his life. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Why don't you wait up in his room? He'd like that. It's up the stairs on the right. Most valuable player in 1996. Look at this. I don't think anyone's lived here for a while. That's definitely him when he's younger. Yeah, he looks like the real Slim Shady. Got some bad hair. Thanks, cats. You do too? Yeah, well. Shit. What are you doing in here? Sorry, who are you? I'm Mrs. Rogerson's caretaker. Yeah, uh, Mrs. Rogerson actually said we could we could wait here. We're doing yeah. an interview with Sean. You need to leave now. Yeah. And we have, we you have need to go. To be yeah. You need to leave. No, no, yes, why, she why, out, out. out. What? Get out now! Hey, we're not trying to steal This is it. ridiculous. Like, she said we could come in here. Yeah. We just want to talk to Sean for a second. Ow. Sean can be back know. real yeah, soon. Just, just as soon as you get back it. from oh. the hospital. Delia, which it's hospital do you mean? What are you talking about? The hospitals are crazy people. Wait, hold on. You know about Grave Encounters. You know about the TV show. I, I, I helped him find his name, you know, Lance Preston. That was his stage name. Yeah, what? The camera on. Hey, yeah, don't touch it. I'm oh, sorry. All right, all right. We're getting our two worked out. Sure. Yeah, one more thing. What happened to Sean? Okay, what happened to the rest of the crew? I, I really don't. She invited us here. We're her guests. We just wanted to do an interview with Sean. That's it. She is not supposed to answer the phone. She has advanced dementia. She's going to be in full-time care in January. Sure, you catching that? She knew about grave encounters. <laughs> Look at her. She's fucking crazy, man. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> She's still waving.
Dude, she's ripping them apart. You gotta fucking roll on the stack, dude. She was passed after the play. The point is that you said you were gonna be there and then you fucking The circumstances it. aren't exactly, I know it sounds bad when you put it that way, but it's not how it's. This was important, Thank me you. too. And I know, I know, I'm sorry. You promised you were gonna be there and then you just weren't. Like I was looking everywhere for you. And no, no, I'm sorry, but look at this. Seriously, just look at this. You are obsessed, this is a movie. It's not just a fucking movie. Listen to me, I called the Vancouver City Registrar, okay? The RCMP has a fucking case file dated March 28th. I don't care. 2003. I don't care. Okay. You know what? I am so sick of hearing about this fucking movie. You go ahead and do whatever you want. You don't have to deal with me anymore, okay? Bye, Jen. Fuck off, Trevor. Right, Jen. Oh, not right now. Bye. I'm sorry. Jen. <laughs> wow. What the fuck was her problem, huh? But I feel bad, you know? I feel bad about the fucking play. But what do you want me to say, huh? This is more important, you know? Yeah. Um, I, what? I don't you don't agree with me? Well, okay, well, let me lay it down. A friend, good friend, okay? Hello. Jen is probably the only girl on this campus you have the slightest chance of getting your dick wet with. True. Yeah. So true. Thank you. And Thank you. in saying yeah. that, if I were you, I would lay off the whole conspiracy theory shit. Conspiracy theory? Dude, I love you. I'm Look trying at to it. help. Look at the fucking evidence. I Look have at it. it. Missing. Missing crew. Fear dead. Fuck, what else do I need to fucking prove to you? See what I mean? Yeah. Wake up to fucking Rain Man every morning. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Rain Man was a fucking genius. Hey, everybody. Um, I know it's been a while since I have posted, but a lot of crazy shit's gone on with this whole Great Encounters thing the last little while. I did an interview with Sean Rogerson's mom. Listen to me, grave encounters is real. Now my friends don't believe me, you probably don't either, but I'm not crazy, I've done my research. I just need proof. I need to go back to Tacoma. I don't know, maybe check out some more articles, look up some more. Something just started printing. The printer has just turned on and is printing something without me doing anything to start it. Two, three, eight, four, Melrose out of Los Angeles. This looks to be some kind of call sheet for a music video or something tomorrow in LA. Hartfield Productions. I don't know that name. Jerry Hartfield, he produced Graham Encounters. Call sheet that was printed off for me. It's for a music video he's doing tomorrow. I can't have you in fucking L.A. for two days, man. What about our movie? This is more important to me. Are you really seriously going to fly all the way over to L.A. just for some stupid call sheet? Guys, come on. I'm only going to be gone for two days. I don't see the big deal. Whatever, dude. The should only be Outside car, we're in LA, about to be in Hollywood, the uh, film mecca of Earth. I wouldn't say beautiful because of all the smog, but okay, okay, we're at the studio. I with uh, Hardfield Productions. Your name? Uh, Roberto Smith. I got uh, I've got this call sheet. I'm PAing today. Music video. All right, Roberto. You go in and lot C. Thank you. Okay. Try to talk to him now. Oh, 
I'm not gonna cover Excuse me, Mr. Hartfield. Can I talk to you for a second? Hold on a sec. Who the hell are you? I'm Alex Red. I'm filming a documentary, and I uh, just want to maybe get an interview with okay, you. Okay, well, this is not allowed on my set, okay? Now, you can stop it right there, because I'm not going to do any goddamn interviews. Security, this guy is not supposed to be here. Play back! I know about Greg McCaffrey. I know what the fuck you did. Get him out of here. What the fuck you do? I just tried to talk to Jerry Hartfield. He had security kick me out. I mean, he's clearly hiding something. Fuck, I just... I don't know, I don't know what to do anymore. Whoa. Yeah. I'll talk to you, okay? But not here, and not on camera. You be at my offices tomorrow at 2 o'clock, hmm? Yeah, okay, thank you. Mm. Jerry at 2 o'clock. Alex? Yeah. Can you sign in? So how much do you know? Hmm? Give it to me straight. I know everything. I know Grave Encounters was real. I know Sean Rogerson and the rest of the crew are dead. To be clear, unless there's actually a body, you're not legally dead. You're a missing person. And thank God for that. So you admit it. The footage is real. Yeah. Every last frame of it. Well, except for a few cheap visual effects that we added at the last minute. What about the family? Jesus Christ, kid. It's called a non-disclosure agreement. You made them sign a non-disclosure agreement? You goddamn right I did. And you know what? For a nice chunk of settlement money, they were more than happy to sign it. Well, I think I'm a big scumbag, right? I guess I just don't understand why you did it. Listen, when I first saw those tapes, I was scared to death. You understand? I mean, I even thought about destroying them. But after all the settlements, I was close to bankruptcy, and so I had an idea. Why not release it as a film? You know, maybe we could recoup some of our losses. And it worked great. They already want a sequel. Grave Encounters 2. Can you believe that? The directors of Vicious Brothers, who are they? <laughs> um, why don't you follow me? Because I... Uh, Excuse me, sir. When you fuck this thing up, when you, when you put the... Meet the Vicious up, Brothers. You have to... Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's Colin, right there, and that's... Stu, they're my interns. See, I just had these guys pretend to be the directors of the film and then go out and do all the press. And because they're non-union, I don't even have to pay the scale. <sighs> you know, you get all these students and all these kids up here from UCLA and USC, and they're just so goddamn incompetent. But now you know the truth. I'm not going to get away with this. We already have. I want to tell everybody. You go ahead. Who's going to listen to you? You're a nobody. The only reason I agreed to this meeting was to see if you had anything solid against me, which you don't. We'll see about that. Yeah. Yeah, we will. You can leave now. That's a fucking douchebag. Who's gonna listen to you? You're a nobody. See? This is why I asked you to come. Yeah, man. Well, I mean, if it's true, that's, that's fucked up. I didn't ask him to say any of this. Wow. That's a fucking douche. Yeah, but he was also right. I mean, no one's gonna believe us. We need proof, you know? What do you mean, proof? I've been thinking a lot about this. Guys, this is the film I want to make, right? If you think about it, we're already in the second act, right? I mean, you've been filming everything on your camera phone. Jared, you've been filming it. Think about it, dude. It's a documentary, but it's also a horror film, right? How is it a horror film? Okay, I got another message from Death Awaits. He lives in Canada, right beside the hospital where they shot Grave Encounters. That's how he knows so much about it. See, he wants to meet us on the inside of the building. That is where we get our proof. You want to drive to Canada? It's like a two-hour drive. We'll bring Jared, Tessa, we'll film the whole thing. It's a goddamn movie, man. For the 15th fucking time. I'm not driving to Canada to go on a fucking wild goose chase. I'll go. So you, are you kidding? I mean, can you explain this? No, but... Why would you say that? Jared, you in? You're coming, right? Cinematographer credit. You're in? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, if you're my producer, I need you there. You can get into Sundance with this shit, right? This is the shit that can put us on the map. Trust me. 
Succeeded in building a fucking creepy building. Jesus Christ, this place is huge. Alex, do you know which one they shot at? I think this is it. Let's go check it out. Then you see the sign back there? Sorry, sir. Hi, I'm so sorry. We're film students, mm -hmm. and we're just trying to get some shots for a school project. We're just trying to get some exterior shots of the building. That's no, all. I'm sorry. These buildings are full of asbestos, all right? It's highly dangerous. You guys are going to have to get out of here. Turn the camera off. No, absolutely not. You're not allowed to be filming here, we'll okay? There's okay, no we'll filming leave. on the premises. I understand that. We'll leave. You're going to have to give me the tape. I'm not giving you shit, buddy. Give me the tape from all the cameras. No. Give me the tape. Give me, give me the tape. <laughs> <laughs> tried to capture some shots of the hospital from outside, but we were harassed by a security guard who tried to take one of our cameras away. He said it was because of the asbestos. That's, that's clearly bullshit. I mean, they're trying to hide the truth. They're trying to hide something that they don't want people to Breaking in, bitch! Motherfuckers can't they stop us! Your fuck the police! Knock it off! Knock it off! This is why we came up here. You guys actually think this movie's real. Kind of the whole point of this, Seth. No! No! I'm not, I'm not responsible for my actions. I got another message from Death Awaits saying to meet him in the room at the west end of the tunnel at 3 a.m. sharp tonight. We have got uh, eight night vision cameras that we're going to put up on tripods like that one throughout the building. This super badass camera that's shooting super high resolution thermal camera. Fancy like that, an EMF meter. That's what she said. <laughs> Chip! Tonight, we are going to try to find proof of what Jerry Hartfield's been trying to cover up for 10 years. That this film is the real deal, that the spirits are exist. The crew of Grave Encounters died trying to find them. Yeah, boy, we're going to light the fires, we're going to kick the tires. Yeah, baby. Okay. Yeah, baby. Turn your light off. Turn, turn your light off. Somebody there? Get down. Are you 
Where's the charge? Let's go. Move your ass. This is not me. You loud crap. Okay. Oh, God. I just. Get away from me. Don't talk, baby. We're going to fuck with some ghosts here. Holy shit. Death awaits. Death awaits. Well, it's definitely the right building. Yes, it's Test, the bolt right cutters. building. Oh, no. I'm doing this shit. See yourself. Don't test. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You get to wear a better climber. <laughs> yeah. Really? My God. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, yeah. This place isn't okay. creepy. Holy shit, it's just like me. Oh, my God, is that police tape? Why would the police have come here? This was just a movie. This is not just a movie. Are you done yet? That's all of Oh, yeah, I'll be I'll be done in a second. Yeah, okay. All right. It's good. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Oh. Is this where the black guy died? Yeah, well, the ethnics always die first. Ooh. Shit, man. Damn, that's fucking high up. Come on, man, let's go. You're gonna fucking fall out of there. Whoa, geez. Geez. Okay, guys, let's set up for the intro. Okay, Jerry, do something last night. Yes, you can. Alex's awesome documentary, Tip Tip One. Tip of the tongue. The you ready? It was March 20th, 2003, when Sean Rogerson and the crew of Grave Encounters were shooting their sixth episode of a reality television series here in this very building. They encountered something horrible, something that would cut their lives tragically short. It was sold to the American public as fiction, yet in fact, it was reality. Later tonight, we'll be meeting up with an anonymous source known only as Death Awaits, who first tipped us off. In the meantime, we'll be conducting our own paranormal investigation in hopes of uncovering the truth behind the decade-long cover-up. <laughs> Everybody good? Yeah? Yeah. Right. Tess, you got it? Yes. And three, two, one, action. This building is massive, and it's super easy to get lost. So to make sure that doesn't happen, and that we can always find our way back, we're dropping these glow sticks behind us. We have this military-grade GPS system that we got from the spy shop. Just in case, in the unlikely event that one of us gets separated from the group, we also all have these. Look, can you warn me next time I'm wearing fucking headphones? Sorry. I think it's safe to say we're definitely prepared for the worst. This is the very bathtub where T.C. Gibson, AKA actor Merwin Mondeser, lost his life. We will now attempt to communicate with the spirit world in hopes of reaching Merwin. I'm gonna record an EVP. The spirit of Merwin Mondasaur is here with us now. Speak freely. Don't be afraid. I'm sure your wife and your daughter would love to hear from you. There are any spirits with us right now. Speak freely. 
Give us a sign, make a noise. Create a cold spot. Okay, get the thermal camera on now. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, yeah. very tunnel that Sean Rogerson spent his final moments alive, deranged and suffering from starvation. As you walk deeper down these tunnels, it's almost as if you're walking deeper and deeper into the depths of madness. Literally, the tension is building with every step. <laughs> what? It's a bit much. What's a bit much? Wait, you gotta deep reject into drama the and of madness. you win awards for that. Question. I get that. You're gonna win a rat. <laughs> Jared, cover this cover. Yeah, man. Oh. Okay, seriously, like, what does this? What leaves a half eaten around on the ground? That's disgusting. It says meet in the room at the west end of the tunnels. Doesn't really get more okay. west end than this. Time's up. 3.25. Maybe he's running late. Fuck, no, he bailed on us. Without him, we have nothing. This whole project is a disaster. What? You put your hand on a piece with somebody and then you try and get spirits to move it to the letters. Just come on, we should play it. This is never gonna work. Yes, yes, yes. Right. It takes two. I'm speaking to the spirits of you. We know that many of you were mistreated and abused here. You may therefore be angry in the afterlife. Are there any spirits here with us now? Who are we? Who are we talking to? Just, just give me a name. Oh my God, you guys! Hey, fuck off, guys. D E A T H. Stop. H W K I T. Holy shit! Death awaits. It's not a curse. Fucking YouTube guys. Jesus, this is fucked. Okay, shh. What do you want us to do? It's not even mine, really. It's our school. I don't give a shit where it's from, all right? You can take that up with the cops. God, don't be such a fucking dick, hey, man. Shut up! Shut, up. Shut, up. Shut, up. Shut, up. Shut your mouth! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You better not be fucking... No, I'm not. He's not. You're not even a pig. You're a fucking rancher. Hey, Trevor, shut the fuck up! Thank you. Listen to your fucking friend for once in your life, okay, will you? Yeah, sir, you don't need to... <laughs> Whoa. What the fuck? What the hell was that? <laughs> 
All right, who else is with you? There's no one else. Nobody is. Bullshit! Nothing, who else sir. is here? Sir, Nobody's I'm so with us. sorry. That's There's what something I'm... really weird going on in this building right now. I don't know what it is, but I'm... What are you talking about? I don't know. This place is fucking haunted. Yeah, all right, give me a break. That, will you? All right, now all of you, stay here and don't fucking move. Get so you really out. shouldn't go up there. Oh, guns Thank out you for your so fucking tough guys. Hey, hey, you out. want this right now? Shut the fuck up and stay here. Alex. What? Alex, let's get the fuck out of here, man. No, we can't leave. I already go. told you. Yes. If we leave now. Tell I'm gonna, shh, okay. If I leave, I'm going to lose a whole shit ton of money for all those cameras. Alex, like 50 grand if you stay, cameras. you're going to be arrested. If you guys want to leave, be my guest. Go. I'm staying. If I don't get the cameras and that footage back, oh, I don't God, have a film, all right? I don't have a fucking film. Was this good, John? Oh yeah, they were. Alex, dude, oh, fuck you, man. Please, let's just leave. Where are you going? Go he could be shot. injured. Come on, he's yeah. yeah. in That way. Are you fucking kidding me? That's retarded, Alex. How the fuck will we split up? Just, Just go don't fast. Tess, if we do this together, it's gonna take no, 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 forever. No, fuck you. I'm not walking around on my own in here, okay? Man up. Go to Man this. up. Go get the camera. When did you lose your brakes? Why does yeah. this have to be a fucking argument all the time? Why can't we just do one Why thing? Why does this have to So fucking stupid. I cannot believe we're doing this right now. Can you get that flashlight there? Can you please hurry up? Come here. Tessa, I found the room. Go to the end of the hall. Tessa? Tessa, get over here. What are you doing? Jerry, where are you? Oh my god, Jerry!
don't understand the map's fucking useless. Trevor Thompson came here to find proof that the movie Great Encounters is real. It's not fucking real. We already lost your and Tessa. I don't think we're going to be seeing you again. Don't say that. Don't say that. There has to be a reason why it brought us here. Why it brought me here. I mean, she'll never. He wants me to film everything that I do. I don't know why. Guys, turn the fucking Look, camera I'm not gonna turn the camera off.
I'm not gonna let anything happen to you, okay? Nothing's gonna happen to you. Give me the crowbar. I'm sorry, huh? I didn't know any of this was gonna happen. 
This is probably dead. Did you get your fucking project finished? Losing it, but just—I think they're about ready to snap. living in here? <laughs> Wait. You're Lance Preston. Sean Rogerson, the actor, right? You've been alive this whole time? <gasps> Who's alive? Who's alive? find a way out of this goddamn building. Are you patient? What? Patience? Yeah. 
What world are you in? Look, Michelle, we're not patients, okay? We're, we're film students. We broke into the building. about your film. What film? What film? Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Grave Shot. Encounters. This is the like your movie, Grave Encounters. <laughs> a dumping ground for embarrassing <gasps> family members rather than... Do you understand? Your mom. Okay, I met your mom. Lovely lady. Lovely lady, but she's really ill. Sean, your mom is very ill. Shut up! Shut up! these drawings are There are patterns. I've mapped them. Where did you leave the bag? I don't know. There was a, it was a, it was a hallway with, with there was, there was bathtubs in all the rooms. I don't think really. Here. Four hours. Six. Seven. Eight hours. This is fucking crazy. It's just a freestanding door. It doesn't fucking lead anywhere. Alex, this isn't Narnia. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, but this is really fucking crazy. This is stupid. You know what else is crazy? Running through a hotel and ending up in the same fucking place you started. We gotta avoid this area. What's what's the matter? That's what Dr. Friedkin is. Hey, Dr. Friedkin. He was the head physician here. I read about him online. Rumor was he was under the occult. There are rituals in the basement. Experiments on the patients. Where do you think this came from? That's where he went in. Open a gateway, you know? Freaking did. You took the real world and the spirit world and you matched them together. <laughs> and he tore a hole in the building he put right behind that door. Please, I, I 
bad feeling about this guy. You don't have any choice, all right? Alex. Jesus. You said you knew where you were going. Mom, Dad, Jason, if you guys are watching this, it means that I'm probably dead. So I guess this is my last will and testament. Again, I'm like, oh, God. Fucking will on a fucking 21 years old. I don't want to fucking die. I just want to go home. I'm fucking so crazy. Hello? Is anybody there?
Chun, you scared the shit out of me. What do you want? Well, we'll talk. <laughs> Woke up. Trevor's dead. We found him in one of the bathrooms. <laughs> Sean did this. I should have listened to Trevor. I mean, he told me not to trust him. Can you read it? Uh, Can you read it? Yeah, 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 I think so. I he think so. The door, we need to get to the room with the doors before him. We need the bolt cutters. That's our only chance of getting out of here, okay? No, no, no. Are you sure it's that loud? It's good for something. It's been a long time since I've been a camera. Might be a little rusty. Might be a little rusty. <laughs> I'm Lance Preston, and welcome to another episode of Great Encounters. <laughs> welcome to another episode of Great. <laughs> I'm Lance Preston, and welcome to another episode of Great Encounters. The rest of the cast is no longer with us, but I am still here. If we're lucky. Maybe we can make contact with him. Why'd you lock the door, Lance? I want to go back to the hotel. I'm sensing a dark and evil spirit, Lance. Even possibly might be a demon. Stop playing this character. I'm getting out of here. Which way's the room? Where's the right door? So they put a bomb on me. What did I do wrong? Huh? Answer me! How can I do that if you won't 
let me leave. This way. The nervousness is just over there. Is that right? Oh, this is it. Wait. Sean told us to avoid the surgical ward. I don't think we have any other choice. How are these things? Kidding me. doesn't work that way. You killed Trevor, you fucking psycho! Your friend was dead the moment he stepped foot in the building. You all were. Alex, look at this. She had said that if one of us collected all the tapes, they could go. Well, that's 
it's gonna be me. <laughs> now you guys are gonna have to stay behind. Give me the footage from you cameras. I need to finish the film. I'm not giving you anything. This is my film. The building said I need to finish the film. Now give me the footage! Finish the film. Finish the film. That's what all this has been about, why it contacted me. The building wants an audience. Alex, what are you talking about? I think I just figured out the ending of my movie. You're the star. So what do you say, Jennifer? You always told me you wanted your death scene to be epic, right? Mm -hmm. This is it. I mean, don't make this harder than it has to be. Alex, please. I'm sorry. Jennifer, come here. I'm so sorry. I'm really, really. Alex, stop! It's over. Go to sleep. Talk to it. Don't finish your film. Others will see it, they'll come.
Got a reporter you wanted across the I-5. 7823, we got a Caucasian male. Large duffel bag requesting backup. Sir! Sir! No, no, my camera! I need my footage! I'm not going back! To I need my camera! Where am I? Where am I? Huh? What city am I in? I'm in Los Angeles. So, Jerry, can you tell us how Grave Encounters 2 came together? Well, sure. I mean, uh, look, I was as surprised as anybody when this kid comes walking into my office to tell me that he's just filmed the sequel to Grave Encounters. I mean, I thought he was nuts, you know, but uh, as it turns out, Alex here is quite a talented director, and uh, I really think he's got a bright future ahead of him. I mean, this thing has got everything. You know, it's got ghosts sending messages through the internet, uh, young girls being killed, uh, guys being sucked through walls. It's wild stuff. Hopefully you enjoyed it. But I, I want to be very clear about one thing as I, I made this mistake with the first film. Everything you've just seen is fake, okay? Every single shot has been uh, doctored or manipulated. It's just a movie. Is there anything else you want to add before we wrap all this up? Look, whatever you do, don't go looking for the building. All right, don't go looking for the It's not worth it. There's nothing there.
um, random question. Yeah. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay. You were at the Halloween party. Yeah. I was like throwing myself at Alex like yeah if I was another person and I saw me I would be like that girl's a slut <laughs> <laughs> just like nothing from him like absolutely nothing <sighs> like, I've been trying for months now and he just like can't take a hint Alex is pretty shy though like he's always been a pretty shy guy yeah but like he wouldn't even have to do anything outgoing at this point why the fuck do you think I'm here right now you're not filming this are you no I'm not filming it are you oh, I think you are. Shit. It's going. Oh I my can't God. believe you're filling this one.